Good morning, friends on YouTube. I thought I would let you join me today in my walk. Um, one of the most soothing things to your nervous system is to be out in nature. And I just want to show you this lovely view. Just look at that. There's a lot of research coming out of Japan that walking in the forest actually lowers cortisol levels, blood pressure, reduces your risk of disease, significantly calms your nervous system. And I wouldn't exactly call this a forest, but nevertheless, um, there's just so much fresh air. It's so peaceful and calming. Um, and it's interesting because they feel that the most calming thing based on the research and i'm no scientist as you can tell but the, the what actually calms you out in the forest is the scent and the the chemicals given off by the leaves of the trees and i've got plenty of trees here as you can see so today what i want to talk to you about are beliefs um and not so much beliefs but actually yeah, it's a belief. It's things you say regularly to yourself that create anxiety and misery. Sorry, it's hard to see me right now. So um, maybe that's a good thing. So um, there are three things that if you say them to yourself, you'll guarantee that you're going to have anxiety. And I'm going to tell you what they are. Uh, this is super important and this is one of the most profound things i learned in overcoming my anxiety um which you know i had severe severe anxiety at one point i couldn't even leave my house i was agoraphobic but so we tell ourselves i can't stand blank i just can't handle blank i won't be able to deal with it if blank I will absolutely just die if blank happens. Okay. Now, I want to explain to you how this creates anxiety. So if you say these things yourself, if you believe these things, your subconscious mind says, oh my God, she can't handle this. He can't stand it. He's just going to die if that happens. And your subconscious mind becomes fully invested in making absolutely sure that that never happens. I'm going to turn around now. So your subconscious mind will be absolutely invested in making sure that what you can't stand, can't handle, can't deal with, what will kill you, what you believe will kill you, is it can't absolutely not happen. So what's going to happen is you are going to have frequent intrusive thoughts about any little nuance in your environment that might indicate that that is a possibility. So I'm going to give you an example. So I used to believe that I couldn't be alone. Um, you can see that I'm alone now and I'm perfectly happy. Um, but I used to believe that I couldn't be alone. That was didn't feel safe to me. It was very frightening. And I would say these things either in my head or out loud to people. I can't stand being alone. I can't handle being alone. I can't take it when I'm alone. I don't feel safe when I'm alone. So my subconscious mind has to make sure I'm never alone. Or people tell themselves, well, if something happens to my spouse, or if my boyfriend breaks up with me, or if so-and-so cheats on me, or if I lose my job, I can't stand it, can't take it, can't handle it. Whatever you tell yourself, those phrases, that you can't stand, handle, take it. Your subconscious mind is going to create hypervigilance around that area. So you're going to be on guard all the time for those things happen. So let's use the example of a relationship, okay? So if you feel like you'll just literally die, just fade away if you lose your relationship, you're going to then be cued in in your subconscious mind to every little nuance of danger. So your significant other is crabby, a little irritable. It automatically becomes about you, okay? He, he or she seems a little distant, a little non-responsive, and suddenly 
you're fantasizing about the end of your relationship. Maybe he's cheating. Maybe he doesn't love me anymore. Maybe I'm getting old. Maybe he finds me unattractive, okay? These messages of warning are coming from your subconscious mind to prevent that very thing from happening that you said you couldn't stand and you couldn't handle and you would just die if that would happen. So my message for you today is to really think about what do you tell yourself those things about? What do you fill in at the end of that sentence? I can't stand it. I can't take it. I can't handle it. If blank. Okay. And you need to work actively to shift that. Now, of course, that's what I do through hypnosis. I work directly with the subconscious mind and you can begin to tell yourself a different story about these things and look for evidence that proves that you really can handle, can stand, can take these things. But if you need help, you can go to my website, tiffanycapello.com, where I help people shift within the subconscious mind and change their beliefs on a deep level, very rapidly, usually in a single session. So have a wonderful day and get out in nature, calm your nervous system and enjoy.